small. You broke my ornament. What? You scared me to death. Ma'am, I'm sorry. Oh, Ma'am, me. Really? Look, I... Preppy, whatever you're hawking or preaching or begging for, forget it. That's not why I'm... not interested, I'm... Comprende? So take your little pamphlets and scram before I call security. There was a note on the door to apartment 3G that said to see the landlady in the penthouse. That's you, right? I look like a landlady to you. Um, well, yes, ma'am, you do. Anna. Hi. <laughs> I, thought, I thought that you were Jackson. What are you doing in the DA's office? Look, okay, I, I know that this looks really bad. Mm -hmm. It looks criminal. Breaking and entering, stealing confidential no, 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 files. I wasn't stealing. I wasn't stealing. I, I was. I was putting back. Ah, you'd already nick them then. But it's it's Vanessa's background stuff on police. I had to know, and I had to find out what the hell made my mother such a monster. Oh, you had no right. I had every right. What are you talking about? I had no right. She's my mother. She's been lying to me my whole life, Anna. Come you on. Knew that. Now, Anna, listen to me. Just listen to me, okay? Vanessa made it sound like David's father killed himself because he was a pathetic loser. Yeah, I but know no, the no, story. No, no, yeah. you, know, you know Vanessa's spin of the story. And David never believed it, and he was right. Vanessa drove her husband to suicide, but not because he was totally whipped. Okay, I'm listening. Okay, when Vanessa kidnapped Maggie, she, she confessed everything to her. She she, 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 thinking that she would never rat her out because she would never live to. She told her the whole reason why she became Proteus. She answered an ad in the classifieds. She took the reins from her husband, Charles. Yeah. David's father? Because Charles is David's idol. I mean, he talks about him like he practically walked on water. David was wrong. David has no idea who his father was. And if he found out, it would, it would kill him. Are you saying that David's father was a crime boss? Yeah, it's all right here. Maggie's deposition. Uh, okay, tell me. Okay. Charles was 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 bound and determined to keep Vanessa, but he couldn't do that on his take-home pay. So he went into the drug trade? Yeah, and he was damn good at it. He made a ton of money, but, but when they, the whole thing went global, he he felt like he was in too deep and he wanted out. Or maybe his conscience kicked in. Well, uh, yeah, yeah. I mean, he, he wanted to do right by David, apparently. He wanted to be somebody that David could look up to. Vanessa doesn't have those scruples. But I don't know. I don't know, because according to her, Charles put his family's head on the block because he was too weak. He got a call for her. She got a call from some thug threatening David's life if Charles backed oh, out. God. I know. This is surreal. I know. So Vanessa confronted Charles about it. She made him give her his contact, and she set up a face-to-face -face meeting with these people. Can you believe that? Wow. That took some breath. Yeah. And at that meeting, Vanessa swore that if her husband ever fell down on the job, that she would take over for him. She would deliver the goods. Huh. And that, Anna, is how my mommy grew up to be Proteus. And David, he doesn't know any of this. No, and he sure as hell doesn't need an update. Talk about kicking the guy when he's down. You're going to have to figure out a way to deal with the truth. What, are you going to be the one to tell him? You want to take away the one illusion that he has left about his parents, Anna? Someone like to tell me what the hell's going on? Ma'am? Who are you, Gomer Pyle? James H. Kenny in the third. Trey for short. Trey, for Trey, go away. Wait, you have to help me. Get a life. There was an ad on the internet. Roommate wanted apartment 3G. Simone somebody. Do I look like I could possibly care? Well, the Simone person was supposed to show me the place, but she left this on the door saying she might be late, and then I should ask Mrs. Smythe. <laughs> what I get for cutting that chick a break. Are you having a bad day, ma'am? I was having a ginger peachy day until you showed up. And stop calling me ma'am. Well, I'll gladly replace the ornament. You can't. Please.
please, if I hadn't knocked so loud... Look, it's one of a kind, okay? You can't find another one. I could try. Just... just stop. No. <laughs> Never get it back. Someone special gave it to you, huh? You know what? Forget it. You did me a favor. Breaking something special? No, I broke it. I didn't hold on tight enough. But you said... But, but what are you, taking notes? Why are you still here? The apartment. Downstairs. Fine. You want to see the apartment? I'll show you the apartment. I'm young, I'm gorgeous. What did I turn into Myrtle Fargate? Mm -hmm. Come on, Gomer. Keep up. So what's she like? Who? This my possible roommate. Simone, what's her name? I barely know her. Well, you're her landlady. You live in the same building. So that makes us best buds? She's not very friendly, huh? Look, Gomer, if you're asking me if she asked me to her last quilting bee, the answer's no. And she's not going to give me a recipe for Pepsi-Cola salad, either. You think I'm a hick. I don't think about you at all. Baloney. You're just passing through, right? So, whenever you're done with whatever you're in town here for, you'll go back to Podunk. So, why waste my time building up a personality profile? It's your apartment. What if I'm some kind of freak? Simone's headache, not mine. What if I talk to myself? Paint my walls black. <laughs> Simone's daddy's a shrink. Maybe he'll give you a discount. Close the door on your way out. Can I help you clean up? Are you coming on to me? No, no. But you want to help me clean up. I mean the broken glass. You look... Go on. Say it. I look like something the cat dragged in and buried in the litter box. You look... fine. This is fine? Compared to what, Miss Dairymaid at the Coconino County Fair? You have no idea how great I clean up. So, show me. This is a come on. No, really. I mean... You were so nice about showing me the apartment, and I did break your ornament. And if Simone gives me her okay, I'll be your new neighbor. So we should get to know each other better. What's the harm in that? I'll take you out for dinner. No strings attached. Give me one good reason to say yes. Because I don't know a soul in this town, and... I could really use a friend. On, Gomer. I mean, life's a banquet, right? Tons of other flavors and rocky road and vanilla. <laughs> Excuse me? Forget it. Give me five to get dressed and prepared to be dazzled.